हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट वन चैप्टर नंबर सेवन फ्रैक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज आर्या अभिमन्यू एंड विवेक शेयर्ड लंच आर्या हैज वॉट टू सैंडविचेज वन मेड ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स एंड वन ऑफ जैम द अदर टू बॉयज फॉर गेट टू ब्रिंग देयर लंच आर्या एग्री टू शेयर हिज सैंडविचेज सो दैट ईच पर्सन विल हैव एन इक्वल शेयर ऑफ ईच सैंडविच इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री पर्सन थ्री बॉयज फर्स्ट इज आर्या अभिमन्यु एंड विवेक दे थ्री आर शेयरिंग दे आर लंच वट हैपन आर्या हैज बॉट टू सैंडविचेज एंड वन मेड ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स वन मेड ऑफ जैम आर्या इज द पर्सन ही हैज बॉट टू सैंडविचेज विद हिम द अदर टू बॉयज फॉर गेट टू ब्रिंग दे आर लंच द अदर टू बॉयज फॉर गेट टू ब्रिंग दे आर लंच दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू शेयर दे आर लंच Arya agreed to share his sandwiches so that each person will have an equal share. What Arya agreed? Arya said that he will share his both sandwiches into three equal parts because there are three persons: Arya, Abhimanyu, and Vivek. Arya will share his sandwiches in three between these these three people. Now the question arises: A part. How how can Arya divide his sandwiches so that each person has an equal share? Arya has to divide his two sandwiches into three persons. One so that one piece Arya will get, another one Abhimanyu, and the third piece Vivek will get. So he has to divide his sandwich. In the last line, they have said they um, they are saying in the question that Arya agreed to share his sandwiches so that each person will have an equal share of each sandwich. The there is a word each sandwich. It means he has to divide. Each sandwich, both the sandwiches into three equal parts. Why we are going to divide into three? Because there are three persons. One is Arya, second is Abhimanyu, and third is Vivek. So each sandwich has to be divided into three equal parts. So they are asking, how can Arya divide his sandwiches so that each person has an equal share? We will write. Here we are going to write the answer in words statement. Arya will divide. Sorry. each sandwich into three equal parts and each one of each one of them will get one part of each sandwich if you want you can write the statement in your own words each sandwich now let us come to the b part of the same question in the b part they are saying what part of a sandwich will each boy receive here they have are asking us the part that what part of a sandwich will each boy receive here we know that we have to write down the part of each sandwich since we are under working in a fractions chapter so we will be writing the answer in fractions so we know that each sandwich is to be divided into three parts total parts will be three and we have to write down the part of each boy what part of a sandwich will each boy receive each boy will receive out of 3 one boy will receive each boy will receive one part that's why your answer will be 1 upon 3 now let us come to the next question question number 7 of the same exercise now the question 7 is kanchan dyes dresses the word dyes means kanchan used to color the dresses she had to dye 30 dresses she has so far finished 20 dresses they are saying in the question that kanchan has to dye 30 dresses the total dresses that kanchan has to dye are 30 and till now she has finished 20 dresses now they are asking what fraction of dresses has she finished since we know that how many dresses she finished she has till now she has finished 20 dresses they are asking us to write that uh, number in fractions they are asking what fraction of dresses has she finished so your answer will be first of all we will write the statement fraction of 
dresses she finished fraction of dresses she finished first of all as i have told you whenever we are writing the fraction we used to write it with the two parts one is the numerator another one is your de denominator and as i have told you the denominator means the total quantity and how many total dresses are given 30 dresses are there total 30 dresses are there so 30 will come in the denominator and how many dresses she has finished till now she has finished 20 dresses since you know that we have to find out the fraction of the dresses she finished so that 20 the dresses that she finished means 20 will come in the numerator again you can leave the answer uh, as it is you can write it as 20 upon 30 and if you want to cancel it first we will remove 0 with 0 1 0 will be removed one, with 1 0 since 2 and 3 doesn't belong to the same table means they will not be cancelled with the same number that's why our answer will be 2 upon 3 now let us come to the question number 8 the question is write the natural numbers from 2 to 12 first of all we will follow the first part of the question they are saying write the natural numbers from 2 to 12 I am going to write the line natural numbers from 2 to 12 we'll, we are going to write the natural numbers that will come from 2 to 12 here they are used the word from that's why we'll include these two also if suppose they would have said between in that case we will not include 2 and 12 we'll write the numbers that are coming between 2 and 12 2 or 12 ke beech mein jitne numbers are but this time they have said from 2 to 12 so we'll start with 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so all these numbers are coming between 2 and 12 first let us count them how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 it means total 11 numbers are coming from 2 to 12 now in the next part of the question they are saying what fraction of them are prime numbers before starting this part first i just want to clear this term prime numbers prime numbers are the numbers which come which used to come in their own table means the numbers that doesn't come in the table of other numbers in others they will come in their own table for suppose 2 2 is the first prime number 2 used to come in the table of 2 only it doesn't come in any other table 3 3 always come in the table of 3 only it comes in its own table it doesn't come in any other table 4 let us check 4 no 4 used to come in the, uh, in its own table as well as in the table of 2 that's why it will not be a prime number 5 yes 5 will be a prime number because it used to come in its own table 5 doesn't come in any other table 6 again 6 used to come in the table of 2 as well as 3 so 6 will not be prime 7 7 will be a prime number again it used to come in its own table 8 no 8 used to come in the table of 2 as well as 4 so 8 is not a prime number 9 again 9 is also not a prime number it will come in the table of 3 10 10 is also not a prime number it used to come in the table of 2 and 5 11 yes 11 will be a prime number because it used to come in its own table again 12 12 will also be not be a prime number to keep this in mind whenever they will ask for the prime numbers first of all i have underlined the prime numbers i have checked that among them how many are prime 2 was prime because it is coming in its own table so just keep this in mind whenever you are just finding out the prime numbers you have to, one point should be clear in your mind that prime numbers are the numbers which used to come in their own table in itself its own table so 2 3 5 7 11 all these are the prime numbers over here so we have to find out the fraction of them what fraction of them are prime numbers among them how many are prime 1 2 3 4 5 so among these 11 numbers 5 numbers are prime so we will write down the line fraction of prime numbers equals to again first of all for writing down the fraction of the prime numbers first of all we will write down the denominator means we will write down the total numbers how many total numbers are there we are finding out the prime numbers from these given numbers 
तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट डाउन द टोटल नंबर्स हाउ मेनी टोटल नंबर्स आर गिवन ओवर हेयर इलेवन जस्ट नाउ वी हैव काउंटेड लेट इज काउंट अगेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन तो टोटल इलेवन प्राइम नंबर सॉरी इलेवन नंबर्स आर देन एंड आउट ऑफ दीज इलेवन नंबर्स हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम आर प्राइम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव I have underlined these prime numbers so that it will be it will become easier for us to count them. So how many are prime? Five out of eleven. Five numbers are prime. So this will be the fraction of prime numbers. Five upon eleven. So what you have to do? You have to do question number nine in your homework. Question number nine is same as your question number eight. There is a slight change in the question. In question number nine, they are saying write the natural numbers from. Hundred two to hundred thirteen. What fraction of them are prime numbers? But uh, they have only changed these two numbers. The question is same. We first of all, you are going to write down the natural numbers that are coming between hundred to. I am writing down the numbers over here. Question number nine. Hundred two to hundred thirteen. You have first of all, you have to write down the natural numbers that will come from hundred two to hundred thirteen. and the question is again same what fraction of them are prime numbers then you have to write down the fraction of prime numbers thank you that's all for today